Put your hands up if you like headphones because I've got a banger for you today. Now, people have been revest, re requesting these for quite a bit. Philips. Philips have done a lot of headphones. Some of them were meh and some of them were... Oh. <laughs> these are... Oh. <laughs> but with an emphasis on the oh. Because these are like... Getting a hug from the man who invented Rolls Royce. It's something to speak about at a jazz bar. That's all these are. Very, very special headphones. Philips have made the uh, ship 9500s. They made the 9600s and everyone hated them because they wasn't as good. Then they made the H2s. They made the, H oh, the uh, sorry, the X2s and everyone liked them. Before that, they made the X1s. And then the X2s were not as good as the X1s. They should have been, but they wasn't. Now, then, to follow that up, because people wasn't happy with the X2s, they made the X2HRs. Now, the X2HRs were like Ship 9500s, but better, in my opinion. I have heard the Ship 9500s, review coming on those soon, but I want to focus on the X2HRs, because the Philips Fidelio X2HRs are... In my opinion, the best headphones that Philips have made that I've heard. They are crystal clear. They're open backs. They're gorgeous looking. So let's get into the unboxing slash review. Box. <laughs> big box. This box is pretty, pretty big. Now, you know they're good because if you get a pair of headphones, it doesn't work all the time because sometimes it's fake. But if it's a sticker of high-res audio then it's probably not but if it's printed on the box you have to earn that stamp so that's something pretty impressive now I do like the uh, box design it's very minimalistic they've got like a grey fade on it high resolution Philips Fidelio H or X2 HRs I'm gonna keep calling these H2Rs because I like bikes so um, yeah they've got it written in bright orange font I don't know if you can see that there you go now, all of this stuff is relevant to what it is. These are over-ear, indoor headphones. You do not take these outside because they will rust beyond belief. But WD-40, you get rid of that rust. So, if you did, you could. Frequency response. Now, I don't know if you just saw the video that I did. I say just, it was out last week. But I did the cheap audio, what to expect when you're buying cheap stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Now, most of those headphones that are cheap, cheap, did 20k, or 20, 20 hertz to 20k hertz, right? These, these do 5 hertz to 40k hertz. That is ridiculous. And if you're sitting there going, yeah, but I bet you can't actually hear 5 hertz. No, no one can hear 5 hertz, but I can promise you, on God, you can feel it. You can feel it. It has a rumble. It really, really has a rumble. Personally, I can hear down to about 20 to 15 hertz. Now, it varies on different headphones because frequencies are louder on certain things. But, that genuinely does 5 hertz. You can feel the rumble when you get to stupidly low stuff. If you're watching something cinematic like you're on Netflix and you're, I don't know, watching Terminator or some shit. Or something that has a crazy amount of low end in it. Uh, like the beginning of that space film that I forgot the name of. <laughs> stuff like that. These really, really get there. Now, these aren't 32 ohms, as you see, usually, right? These are 30 ohms, which is a weird kind of impedance, but it works. It really, really works. 100 dBs at 1 milliwatt. That is mega. That is mega. You can power these from, I don't know, just if you sneeze into the aux cord, I'm pretty sure you can create a sound with these. These are so easy to power. They're just good, right? Speakers, let's talk about the speaker, right? They're 50 millimeter. I think they're neodymium drivers. Yeah, they are. It says it here in the box. So they're neodymium drivers. They are fantastic sounding. 
Uh, it, it's quite a well-built headphone. We'll get into that in a second. So here is the actual speaker. You can see it's out. Let me tilt that so you get a better look. So that's what they look like. All headphones are really kind of clear plastic that are ribbed. Uh, and they have like a, a cool coil sitting around that little red ring on the inside that goes in and out like a traditional speaker. But they're just made to be a lot more not flimsy they're made to be lighter weight so they can react faster this is a special kind of composite that means where an average speaker will go in and out once in the time that it would do that this will do it twice so you get twice the amount of depth and frequencies and stuff so you have even less loss in audio because the only issue with with listening to a recreation of audio is when the speaker's moving in and out it's pumping these frequencies out at each time it does that and the issue with that is on the in and the out, it changes. So with our ears, there is no pumping audio out. It is just all the way. It just keeps going. So the closer you can get to seamless integration of audio, which is why planar magnetics are, uh, or planar magnetics are fantastic, because they do that exceptionally, that's what you want. Designed for natural sound. That is the quote of the day. Immerse in detail. Immerse in every little detail. That is crafted for comfort. Everything they've said on this box so far has been fact. Absolutely fact. Absolutely fact. Now, when these came out, they were rather expensive. Upwards of about 300 quid. Now, I paid that for my Sivir Phoenixes. So I'm going to compare them to my Sivir Phoenixes. Uh, and I have some bad news. I think they're better than my Sivir Phoenixes. <laughs> but it, not in the sense that you're thinking, like, oh, they must sound better. No, it, it's more of... The, the whole overall experience, that's how I judge things. Yes, you can pick little details of something, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect. What it does mean is that you will find something that you like more in one aspect of, of the whole product. Now, what I like to do is... Wow, look at that for a presentation. Sorry about the dog hair on them. Uh, I, I do use these because, like I said, they are my new favourite headphones. But what I like to do when I get a pair of headphones is look at all of the details in why, how they were made, what makes them better for me, why I think they're good, all of this stuff. Now, if we were to do that for these, we would be here for a very, very long time. Really nice manual that they come with as well, printed on a really lovely paper. So I think the easiest way of me doing that is to tell you how much I love the Sivgas. I like the Sivgas, and I like the Sivgas because they are simplistic, they get the job done, they sound fantastic, they look gorgeous, and they're just clean and comfortable. Suspended headband like the AKG is just got done in a different way, and as you'll notice, these are very similar to the AKGs because they also have a suspended headband. That is something that more headphones need. Now, let's get the Sivgas out and we can compare them side to side. These, my Sivga Phoenixes, the headphones I have used the most, to the point where I had to buy another wire for, because I broke the original. That is serious use. Headphones, right? As you can see, the X2HRs are a bit bigger. <laughs> a bit bigger. Now, they look good on me because I'm a bit bigger than most people. <laughs> These, um, as you can see from all the scratches and dents in them, have seen their fair share of use. They've got chips missing, you know, loads of stuff. I had to repair a terminal the other day because it came a bit wobbly, and that's just be because I use them so much. Now, these had a very cool feature, as in, this sits at the back of your head, so the pad was shaped outwards to make it more comfortable. And it's also the softest, slowest forming memory foam I've ever seen in my life. Watch this, ready? So when you do that, it comes back so slowly. That is just, oh, I want a bed made of that. It's just incredible. Now, 
these are both fantastic sounding and I've plugged them both into my focus right I've also plugged them both into my NR1608 Marantz right and I've also plugged them into a couple other amplifiers that I can't tell you what they are yet one of them is a tube uh, and they're going to be getting a review very very soon because I have a new favorite amplifier and it is fantastic <laughs> What makes these different? Well, not much. They both have suspended headbands. They are both extremely comfortable. They both look gorgeous. Uh, they're both open backs. They both have extremely awesome pads. They both have the softest gel pads I've ever seen in my life. Well, these are way softer, though. That's because these are warm, though. Look at that. That is like deformation to the next level. I'm going to put the Civicas away just for a little bit. These are fantastic, right? And I haven't told you why yet. Why I like them more than my Civicas. And I'm going to whisper this because it's true, right? Free real estate. No. <laughs> the reason I like these so much is... They're so breathable. They are so breathable. My Civicas are good, right? But in order to make open backs, you have a, a thin film or film around the... You know, they're not completely open back. The back of the speaker, you know, does its stuff. And the, the thing facing here does its stuff. But they are technically sealed speakers. Just they vent sand out the back. Now, these are different. These are just speakers floating in a hole, right? Just floating in a hole. And sound moves around them to create stuff. So you have so much more depth and dimension with these than you do the Sivgas. Now, there are certain genres that these do different and better. These are good for pretty much anything. The low end is there. They rival the harmonic dyne Zeus's for the low end. And if you don't know why the Zeus's are called the Zeus's, it's because God of Thunder, Zeus. That's why they were called the low end kings. That's why Zeus loves them. That's why DMS loves them. Actually, the Harmonic Dyne Zeus's are the only pair of headphones that Zeos and DMS both agreed are fantastic. That is hard to do. These is a very similar thing. They are also fantastic. And they are also the reason why I'm such in a rut right now, because I'm thinking... Yeah, but if, if if it came down to it, and I couldn't use my Sivgas, what would I pick up? Would it be the Harmonic Nine Zeus's, or would it be the X2HR's? And I don't know if I can answer that question. <laughs> I don't know if I can answer that question. And the reason that is, is they're both fantastic in their own right. They both do things that you would not be able to speak of. Sound-wise, these have made me cry, right? And that sounds like a joke, but it isn't. These have made me cry. You play, and I challenge you to this, get a pair of these. By the way, we'll talk about price in a minute. We're getting there, I promise. Get a pair of these, stick some Adele on, and you tell me you feel like you haven't just broken up with your ex. <laughs> they are the most emotional headphones. They just capture that essence of life and detail and sound and atmosphere and all of the stuff that you want in music. Things I always say about the Bird Dynamics is they are very good headphones. They capture all the detail and everything you want, but they don't capture life. They don't capture the sound of it. When you listen to anything by Bayer Dynamic, it sounds like a recording, and that's fantastic because that's what they're made for. When you listen to something like these, high fidelity audio, really good detail, really nice soundtracks you're listening to, it doesn't sound like a song. It doesn't sound like a recording. It sounds like it's being performed for you. It is something that is personal. The detail, the emotion, the imaging, the, the, the atmosphere, the experience, everything is there. It's like it's happening live. But you know it's a recording. And the only thing that can bring that to life is a good pair of headphones or a good pair of speakers. That's why audio is special to me. These do that slightly better than the Sivgas. And that's why I love these so much. Now... This is the hard part, the price. They costed, when they were new, over £300. I didn't pay that for them. I paid £95 for them because they was on offer on Amazon. Uh, and that was because they just bought out the uh, X3HRs or the X3s or something. The new versions of these they brought out. 
and they had been flooding the market and so I picked up a pair of the old ones and these are far better from what everyone was telling me the same problem with the ship 9500s and the ship 9600s it's the same problem with the H2XRs or the X2HRs and the X3s as in the X the, the, the predecessor is better than the newer and that's always a problem when you make something so fantastically good how do you better that? Because sometimes you can't. And that's the problem. These are so good because they're good. Because there's nothing better than them in their own series. These are better than the ship 9500s. These are better than any of its other contenders in the same lineup of the Philips. And they're also slightly better than my Sevgas. <laughs> And I don't understand why. <laughs> Should you buy these? Yes. Why would you buy these? Because you are sane. Why would you not buy these? Because you are insane. There are pros and cons to this, right? One of the biggest ones is you would be scared to lose these because they're so special. Now, I don't need to worry about losing these because they spend 95% of the time on my head. Which is exactly where they should be. The mesh, the wires, the stuff, the sound you hear, the things that you experience through these headphones is so raw and real. It gives you such atmosphere, which is why you need to experience something like this. Do I think... Do I think that everyone should have a pair of these? Yes. Will people do that? No, they won't. People are scared of finding things that, that intrigue them because they can't afford a new hobby. That's what I did. Oh, look, I like audio. Let me buy a couple bits. Oh, this is really fun. Now I'm broke. <laughs> That's the way this stuff goes. I don't know what else I can say about these. Are they built well? They are built better than anything else in my room. And that is a fact. <laughs> Other than my Sibgas. My Sibgas, I feel like... Oh, I don't know. They're about equal. They're both built fantastically. But these feel a little bit more robust. Like, if I drop these... I don't really care about it. I've got more chance of breaking my desk. I mean, just see how these are so heavy. You can see how much they make the, the camera shake. That's mega. That's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I, I guess you've seen the review. You know what I think of these. Uh, if you value my opinion, I imagine you're probably already emptying your bank account slowly. Um, thank you guys for watching. Here's a little clip they give you with the headphones. <laughs> Here's the wire they give you with it. Now these are, it's a fantastic wire, I really like it. And it's branded Philips, which takes a lot of money to do because uh, people don't like putting their name on stuff. Now, go buy a pair of headphones. And if they're not these, make them the Sivgas because they're so close that you need one of them. And considering these currently cost £95 and the Sivgas are still uh, £320 something, uh, I would say these are a no-brainer. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. It really does help my channel grow. Uh, have a good day. And stay awesome. Keep watching my videos. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll make money from it and this will all be a, not, not a problem. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.